Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today we're going to take a deeper dive into iOS 13.1 Developer Beta 1. Now, the software has been out for approximately one week. If you follow my coverage here on the channel, there are some bugs within the software, but a lot of you guys have requested for me to also talk about the older devices, and that's why we're taking a deeper dive today into iOS 13.1 Developer Beta 1 on the iPhone SE. I took about 24 hours of using the software on the one of the oldest iPhones to support iOS 13.1. And there's a few things that I wanted to share with you guys. By the way, if you like the wallpaper featured in today's video, you can find that in the description down below. You can download it from my website, so you can check that out. Let's talk about iOS 13.1. The latest build number brings a few new features to the platform. It does bring older features that were previously initially intended for iOS 13.0, but Apple did remove them and brought them into iOS 13.1. It looks like those features will not be making the cut on 13.0. And now we have two major betas overlapping, 13.0 beta 8 as it stands right now, and 13.1 developer beta 1. Now, one thing that's new here on the iPhone SE that's working very well is dynamic wallpapers that we have here available. They're also available on newer devices and they're present here on the iPhone SE as well. Now in regards to features with 13.1, everything is flowing perfectly. There's no stutter, 3D touching on elements, things like the camera, everything works just fine. Things are very quick, very snappy. Actually, I feel like older devices are taking more advantage of a lot of these new features, more so than newer devices. Everything is flowing fantastic. I can't complain about iOS 13.1 on the iPhone SE. I took about 24 hours of testing the software. Everything is flowing just just fine as you see here featured packed with everything that you would find on a newer device you would find on an older device like the iPhone SE and keep in mind this is a very very old iPhone and it still runs the latest iOS 13 and everything is running like butter and I'm very very happy to announce that even though on some of these bugs that we still encountering on 13.1 I have to say 13.1 on the iPhone SE is probably working better than it is on an iPhone uh, 10R for example the reason I say that is because the iPhone SE does not have any of the issues with these cell connections with the Wi-Fi connections everything is flowing fine I find the software to be to its optimal conditions 3d touching everything within the menus is working fine I don't see any stutter Apple music is working just fine everything within the software is here and I cannot stress enough how quickly and how snappy the software feels in comparison to a newer device which is kind of crazy to think about because if you think about this this iPhone is just so old but yet look how snappy it is on iOS 13.1. Not that it isn't snappy and fast on newer devices, but on newer devices, we have more issues, in my opinion, than we do on older devices. And I'm not sure if that's necessarily a good thing, but definitely great news for those of you that own the iPhone SE on iOS 13, we'll be happy to know that 13.1 is headed into the right direction here. Let's take a quick benchmark to see what the numbers look like on 13.1 on an iPhone SE. Let's go ahead and wait for those results. So the results are in here on iOS 13.1. We have a single core score of 2427. Again, that's going to be iOS 13.1. Remember, this one is rocking the Apple A9 processor. The multi-core score, 4484. So everything is looking good so far on the software. Third-party applications are working pretty good. The battery is not terrible, although it could be better. It's okay for what it is at the moment. It is beta 1. Everything is flowing the way it should. I don't see as many stutter, as many issues as I do, believe it or not, on newer devices on this older iPhone. This older iPhone, owners of iPhone SE will be super happy once you get your hands on iOS 13.0 as well as 13.1. That is my thoughts on the software. I hope you guys enjoy this quick follow-up on iOS 13.1 on the iPhone SE. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.